What's going on YouTubers? This is Larry at TJR Sim and today we are looking at R Factor 2 GT3 settings for the next level racing V3 motion. So I have some comments and people asking about you know what motion settings am I using. Uh, they were happy with other ones that I've uh, put out there as far as settings go and stuff. So uh, today I'm just going to dive into R Factor 2, give you some over the shoulder uh, motion as well as the gameplay at the same time. That way you can see uh, the race going on and see how the seat's reacting at the same time. But before we get into that part of showing it, and that'll end out the video, uh, I'll go ahead and share my settings with you real quick. So, right now I'm just doing the R Factor 2 GT3. Uh, I think that's probably, that's probably my favorite in R Factor 2. Uh, I can do some more uh, later on as well, but let's knock this one out real quick. So uh, as far as uh, motion goes, the settings of it. Now I have the rev limber on motion platform. This is subjective. You may not like that. Uh, it, it basically, you know, it rattles your seat up and down, up and down real quick when you bounce off the rev limiter. Uh, it's a little strong and there's no way to really adjust the intensity of that. Uh, so you can turn that off if you want to, uh, but I leave it on. I leave the tactile off as well, just so I don't tax them too hard. But anyway, overall intensity, I'm leaving on one. Bump intensity, 1.81, so I feel more of the bumps and curbs and stuff. Um, roll intensity, uh, this is when you're going up on the side of a curb, 110. Uh, seems to work pretty good for me. Uh, now, I'm a 250-pound guy in, in this seat, so... Uh, the, you know, if you're <laughs> if you're in the 180-pound uh, person, some of these settings may be a little strong for you. Uh, but I have more weight to push around. So, but anyway, uh, roll intensity 110, uh, heave I have at 0.92. I actually, could stand this to be down a little bit on some of the bumpier tracks. Uh, this is Road America one that I'm doing on this particular video, and it's it's pretty bumpy, uh, but it seems to match the. Uh, the uh, way the hood looks moving up and down as far as on the screen goes it seems to match it pretty well and that's what i try to do is get my motion to kind of match uh pretty close to what i'm seeing on screen because i want to feel what i'm seeing that way everything seems uh, uh a nice uh um, you know syn synergy between the two so uh, surge intensity 1.11 is what i have i like to feel some acceleration uh, especially when you come out of corners and stuff, I want to be pushed back in the seat, so to speak. Uh, when I'm maybe half throttle and go full throttle to feel that extra oomph that this, uh, you know, 600 something horsepower car has. So that feels a little bit more realistic to me. Uh, you know, if you're driving a Civic or something, obviously uh, you wouldn't need this up as much because it's not really going to throw you back uh, mid RPM, you know. So, uh, and. Actually, the telemetry, even if you had this set on 1.11 on, a, say, a Civic, it's not going to still throw you back as hard because it's pulling the telemetry off of the uh, car itself in the road. Uh, sway intensity, I have that down as far as going left or right. Uh, 0.57 seems to work pretty good. Maybe 5.5 might be a little bit uh, better. It's it's a, it's almost... It's just it's just about right, but it's it could be dialed down in some instances a little bit. Uh, so anyway, uh, weight transfer bias. This is of course has to do with your surge intensity. Uh, if you're biased towards the front uh, under excel or the front rather this way, going under acceleration or the uh, braking, I have it zeroed out. Be the same way. Uh, motion. This is your roll post processing. This is just the drop off point. I'm running 203 for linearity, gain at 1, and offset 449, and the same thing. You want the, both of these settings to be the same. Uh, you can, of course, try out you know 6 uh, and see how you like that. That will actually smooth out the track a little bit more. Uh, the drop-off won't be quite as, as, as intense. Uh, but let me see. Turn back to 203. There we go. Um, but, yeah, you, 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 can, you can try that. VR, got it on 50 on smoothness, roll, and all that on one. Uh, tactile, now this kind of really determines how much you have your, your amps turned up, you know. So if you turn up your amps all the way, it, it's kind of what I do 
since I'm using a lot of the uh, BKA amps over here, I have them in a position where I can just reach down and uh, when I'm setting idle or do a test run on a car, I can adjust the volume on those. And basically, I, once the little lights start to go red, I back them back down uh, till it just faintly blinks red uh, or, or not red, rather, uh, just on the brink of, of being too much. And that, that way, I end up not uh, clipping the amp and it's shutting down under under heat. So that's my little tip for you. You know, put your amp somewhere where you can reach them to control them. But if you want to crank them all the way up to the max full, that's fine too. You just adjust the software here, uh, which is sometimes easier to do. R Factor 2 sometimes is a little finicky. It won't let you uh, alt, uh, alt tab out to get to this page sometimes, and sometimes it does. So uh, the latest update, it, it's not allowing me. Actually, even when I have it off a of full screen, it doesn't go off full screen. <laughs> so uh, something to do with R Factor 2 right now. Uh, suspension frequency. I put that all the way to, uh, I'm sorry, let me let me start off all my settings here. Uh, change gear intensity 250. This is a fairly weak setting. I suggest go out to the max because it'll get a lost in transition the more you turn these up, the rest of them up. RPM frequency bias, I leave it on one. Uh, this is really biased to the engine. I literally just sit there in the pits and let the thing idle and then move it up, move it up until, you know, the revs uh, the feel what i'm feeling based on what i'm hearing and you know kind of close your eyes listen to what you're hearing as far as your engine rev your engine up uh, of course have your headphones on uh, to isolate you from the sounds from your transducers and then uh you know rev up your engine up and down up and down and adjust this to feel you know what you're hearing uh, if that makes sense to try to match them to make them uh synchronize together RPM intensity. This is just how much uh, how, how much strength you want into it. I generally keep this around one, and I start messing with the frequency bias to you know get the tone right, and then uh, and then uh, then I can turn it up from there. Or sometimes I have to turn it down. Uh, so just depending. Suspension frequency on R factor two is too intense. This is a uh, for my butt kickers or, or my transducers, probably because I have them in, um, um, I have them all bridged to pump, to pump out more uh, amperage. So, uh, so you know, when you go to a bridged mono state, it's instead of, uh, well, they're all mono amps, but uh, and pumping out a little bit more power on some of them, it, it loses some of the uh, clarity. So anyway, I have the frequency down on zero. You still get the good frequency, and it feels just about right uh, on this. Default, I think, is 30. Yeah, 30. Uh, generally, a lot of times, I'll end up running around 60 to smooth it out more. Uh, but this one, I like the harshness when I go over the uh, rumble strips and stuff. Uh, you know, higher you go up, the a little bit smoother out the frequency is. But I like the harshness and the intensity about, about right there, actually. And uh, it feels real good when you go over them. You definitely uh, are matching what you're feeling through your wheel a little bit more. So uh, that's it for tactile and stuff. And, and, and of course, the settings. And I will um, we'll go ahead and jump in the game here and uh, get on with it. And you can see what, what it is. If you have some different settings and stuff that you enjoy, you know, share them down in the comments below. And, uh, you know, for all to, all to uh, check out. So... Yeah, of course, you obviously have to type it in. But anyway, we'll check you later. Enjoy the rest of the video. I am out.
is a 137.74.
seven, eight, 